Hi guys, I'm Dan Whitaker. You're joining me again on another iconic t-shirt here at Trump Aberdeen. As you can see, it's a really tight t-shirt, surrounded by dunes. Every single t-shirt here is completely memorable, but on this occasion, what we've got is a really tight t-shirt, and the dunes frame this hole spectacularly, but what we see is that where we are, we're slightly below the level of dunes, so I'm not feeling the wind that you'd normally feel. So I'm gonna hit my two iron here and try and hit a stinger that keeps it under the level of the dunes so it doesn't get beaten up too much by the wind, okay? You have to bear in mind that when you're on a golf course like this, you're never gonna feel that level of the wind that's up above you because your only reference is what you've got at low level, and at the moment, I'm a bit sheltered. So to hit this stinger shot, what principles do we need to try and apply? Well, what we want to do is get the ball further back in the stand. So what I like to do is my normal ball position here. I like to bring it a couple of balls with back in the stands. And then from there, I like to get a little bit of weight on the front foot. So we'll be looking at the weight, getting a little bit more in this direction. What I'm then aiming to do is, okay, stay more centered and on top of the golf ball. The idea is going to be that as I take the club back, because I'm pivoting more central, the right hand can stay more on top of the club this way, and I get towards the top of the swing. Yes, it'll be a little bit more closed, but I'm still gonna be on top of the ball. Now, here's the big key. What you've got to do is continue rotating your chest on top of the ball, and then keep rotating all the way through to the end of the follow through. At the end of the follow through, the chest will stop turning and so too will the arms finish okay so whenever you've seen people like tiger playing stingers they always finish sort of in this position and the angle in the back of the right wrist will be held and maintained because that means that the loft and the pressure down at the floor will always be matched to one another which should allow us to hit it with the least amount of loft, loft possible to really squeeze that ball fly out and make sure that it's not getting eaten up by the condition so we'll give that a bit of a go here so what we're going to do ball a little bit further back I'm going to stand a little bit open because when I'm standing open, what I'm doing is I'm factoring the, I'm going to hit more down on it because the weight's on the front foot. It's a little bit like a deep lane from what you see on the track man and what have you. So this is just going to give me the opportunity to hit a straighter shot. Then go that weight slightly towards the front foot here, not massively, just a little bit. Okay, make sure that right hand stays on top. I'm going to rotate all the way through to the end of the follow through. So I've gone nice and low, chasing up the fairway beautifully, and it's gone pretty long way up there. It's run out beautifully. So there's some principles to take out of that. We need to make sure weight stays on the front foot, angling the right wrist is maintained, chest covers the ball, arms stop moving when the chest finishes rotating. Hope there's some great things that can help you on your journey to better golf.